What's, what's the problem? Great choice, Randy. Pickle Vineyard is the most prime restaurant around. Prime, you mean biggest? No, prime can either mean most excellent, like prime time, or... Or the other meaning, like a prime number. <laughs> Loser! Right this way, please. <laughs> this place is so expensive. And here you go, table 17, party of four. That pasta's good, but pricey. Am I wrong? There's not enough room. That's right. One of you will not be joining us. Since we're sitting at table 17, I need each of you to think of different names for the number 17. And the first person that can't come up with one gets eliminated. <laughs> know the rules, moron. Seventeen's prime, like you. Well, it's an integer. It's natural. James? I'm positive that it's... Yes, it is positive. Oh. Whole. Rational, like me. Odd, like Randy. <laughs> I just can't think of one, so... So... Get out of my chair! I'm afraid you're eliminated, James. Yeah! <laughs> All right, can we eat now? Man, they built a heck of a vert this year. But let's see when it's in use for competitions this week. If a day is picked at random, what's the probability that it'll be in use for at least one event for any given day? Well, there's seven days in a week. Surprise. So A and C are out. And it doesn't look like the events are held until the weekend. With four on Friday, six on Saturday, and one on Sunday. So. With three days out of the week having events on them, that's a three in seven chance that somebody's gonna be out there hitting that vert ramp. The answer's D. Now you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thanks. Gotta love that uh, bottomless noodle special, huh? You said it. I could eat some more. You had just about every combination possible. Yeah, there were three different sauces to choose from and four possible pastas. Next eliminated question, guys. How many combinations is that? That's a factorial. The answer's 12. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'm not. Au revoir, princess. <laughs> oh. Check out this cabinet. This would be a great place for storing extra sets of wheel boxes. I wonder what's the best estimate of the most amount of these boxes I can fit into that cabinet. Hmm. Well, let's see. Boxes have a square base, 10 inches by 10 inches, and are 6 inches tall. And the cabinet is 6 feet tall, 4 feet wide, and a foot deep. Hmm. Well, the boxes is, are in inches. So, let's multiply by 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, and make the cabinet in inches as well. 
And look, the cabinet is 48 inches wide, and the boxes are 10 inches wide. 5 times 10 is 50, so there's no room for 5 boxes. But 4 times 10 is 40, so there's plenty of room for 4 boxes. Let's see, the cabinet is 6 feet tall. 6 times 12 is 72 inches high. And the boxes are 6 inches high, so 72 divided by 6 is 12. So we can fit 12 boxes high. Oh man, I forgot about the depth. Well, the cabinet's only 12 inches deep, and the box has a 10 inch base. So there's only enough room for one row of boxes. So let's see, four times 12 is 48. So 48 boxes. The answer is B. Now I just need to come up with the money for 48 boxes of wheels. is it prime? Well, it sure beats your mighty 191. Yeah, but if you add the digits, it equals 12, which means it's divisible by 3. So? So if it's divisible by 3, it isn't prime. Your turn, denominator. No, it doesn't. Prime means a number that's only divisible by one and itself. You just blew it. 228 to 193, Sarah's mine! No, I'm not. See? 228's an even number. Duh. Shake it off. Shake it off. I won by 35. I'm a better bowler. And I get some draft! Draft! What's the problem? <laughs> 